Hi, why is it important to choose the right color? Everybody has a unique color palette that matches their complexion. The right color makes your eyes, hair, face, your skin glow and supports your natural beauty. The right color gives you a more vibrant, healthier and fresher look. On the contrary, the wrong color will drop shadows on your face, pop up your skin imperfections, it will wear you down and make you look tired and pale. And the right color not only supports your complexion, but it also makes it easier to shop. When you know of your color, body shape and your personal style, you'll be able to shop better offline and online, which will lead to saving time and money and eliminate the fuss of returning items that did not fit you. And because the right color improves your complexion, you don't need to put too much makeup. I care about this because I'm not a makeup person, no talent or interest, so it's important for me. Another advantage. When you have the right colors in your wardrobe, it will make it easier for you to combine outfits and get ready faster. Above all, when we started the course, we set our goal as to dress to impress. And color is a great tool to build that impression. The colors serve us to make a statement. We are power dressing or dressing for an interview, dates, social gatherings. It boosts up your self-confidence. It either gets us noticed and seen or fades us down. Enough with words. Let me demonstrate with examples. In which green tone she looks healthy and fresh and in which green she looks washed out and tired. Easy to guess, right? This one. Does brown or black look more flattering on her? Do you agree that brown looks better on her, matching her hair color and complexion? How about this example? In which color she looks pale or vibrant? Should she prefer pastel colors or jewel colors? Even when you don't look at the colors, the impression on the model's face shows how she feels in those colors. She looks more vibrant and happy in this jewel tone, right? The answers were so obvious, don't you agree? And there are times when you have a color on you, someone says, Oh my God, you look so good today. Did you do something? Or the color of your dress is beautiful. If you hear the one that says that you look great today, this means that you are wearing the right color because the right color uplifts you without overwhelming you. It makes your vibrancy come out and not overshadow you. However, if you get compliments on your dress's color, I'm sorry to say that the color popped up, not you. The color should not be the first thing people realize. It should be you. If it's the color, then there is something wrong with it. And if someone asks you, is everything fine? You look tired, even though you feel good and healthy. Blame the color. It's the color that makes you washed out and look pale and tired. That color absolutely needs to be excluded from your color palette. Therefore, the right color is important. As I said before, you may wear a jacket or a blouse that fits your body shape and your personal style. But if it's in the wrong color, like in this case, all efforts go to waste. So are you ready to find out the unique right color palette for you? As she did, she definitely found the right color for her. Doesn't she look lovely in this blue tone? Let's find yours. But before starting, I would like to talk about the color theory. First, we need to learn about the basics of color. All the colors around the color wheel are called hues. They are the brightest and purest version of that color. We also hear things like saturated color, tinted, muted, warm tones, cool tones. So what are they? Besides hue, the other important factors are saturation, value and temperature. I do not want to confuse you in details because it's because it can get really confusing. Therefore, I'll try to keep it brief and simple. This is important. Temperature of the color. Warm or cool? Look at the warm side. It is more yellowish. That's what we call warm. On the other hand, this side is created with adding blue. The color got cooler, looking pinkier, purplish. You may have heard like are you a warm tone or are you a cool tone? What they mean is the undertone. Do you know the answer is specific to you? Let's find out.
To define your skin tone, next we'll define your undertone. If you're warm, neutral or cool, we'll do it with fun and easy tests. Please note that all should be done in natural daylight and makeup free. That's why this and the previous lecture, I was makeup free. I don't care about foundation, eyeshadow, highlight or blush, but I feel naked without my colorful red fuchsia pink lipsticks. Anyway, back to subject. If anytime you are unsure about the answer, you can ask a friend to objectively answer for you. Or you can take a picture of yourself and decide that way. First, the vein test. It's the most popular one because the vessels more visible and closer to the surface, we do it on the wrist or hands. You can examine your veins color by looking at the inner side of your wrist or open your hand. Check if your veins color is close to blue and purple or more on the green side due to some yellowness. If bluish, then you are cool. If greenish, then you are warm. But if it's not visible enough to distinguish the color or if you're unsure whether it's blue or green, you may be neutral. That's the third option. The second, another fun test, is the jewelry test. You'll decide which one looks better on you, the silver color or the gold color. If the one that best suits you is gold, then you are warm. If it's silver, then you are cool. As a reminder, if you are unsure, you can ask a friend or take a picture and decide that way. For the third test, you'll need a white and cream t-shirt, shirt, towel, a scarf, a napkin, anything. You will put them on and get in front of a mirror. Then observe which one looks better on you. Do you look more healthy and fresh in the crispy white t-shirt or in the cream t-shirt? If you think you look better in this white, then you are cool. If you think you look better in the off-white, like the cream, ivory, beige, then you have warm undertone. Please note that. Usually there is a very wrong belief that the fair skins automatically are cool undertoned. Not indeed. For example, these two women have fair skins, but she looks better in white and she looks better in cream because she has warm undertones. So please do not assume that you are cool if you have a fair skin. Next is the white paper test. You can either use a white paper or a white towel or like a v-neck like this that you can observe your chest, your throat and face. Actually, face is the least important one because the face's undertone may change over time. Summer, winter, depending on the sun exposure, getting tan, redness on my face due to allergic reactions or lovely pimples and acne. It may make a difference on the tone of your face. For example, well, look at me, I look darker on the face, lighter, my skin looks lighter, which is a natural one, on the chest. That's why it's the best place to look for this observation. Against the white paper, if your skin looks pinky, rosy or bluish, then you are cool. If your skin looks yellow, gold or greenish, then you are warm. While you are in front of the mirror and makeup free, let's do another test. It's the fifth test. It's the blush test. Try on two different blushes. One peachy, the other pinky. Which one looks better on you? If you do not have these two types of blush colors at home, you can use the virtual makeup applications that replicate the colors on your cheeks. We just talked about getting suntan. The next question is regarding your skin's reaction to sun exposure. Let's say you spent a day on the beach under the sun. Would you be sunburned in red and itchy skin? Or tan even without noticing? Or a third version, like me, red that night? tent next morning. I mean, does your sunburns heal fast and turn into a tent? If this case, then you're neutral. If you get sunburned, then you're cool. If you get tent fast, then you're warm undertoned. Okay, next, eye color. We are not interested in the eye color itself. Like, it's not like, oh, if you have blue eye color, then you are cool. No, instead we'll be looking inside the color, the quality, the features, like does it have freckles like Starbucks in it, like color hazel or amber brown or deep greens, then it's warm. But if you don't have those features in the, in the color of your eye, if the color is solid black, icy blue, then your undertone is cool. You can also check 
under eye too. Due to veins color, just like the wrist, your under eye veins are visible too. If it's purple or blue, then it's cool. If it's more greenish, then it's warm. If between, as always, neutral. The last one is the hair color. If your hair is color, you can, you can refer to eyebrows or the roots of your hair or your memories. <laughs> For you to understand easily whether you are warm or cool, I will show you some examples. Warm undertoned hair has red, orange or yellow mix into it, like ombre or balayage golden shades. On the contrary, the cool undertoned hair's common point is lack of shades, a solid color. It may be an icy color like platinum. I said no shades, but even if there is the tone, it's icy or ashy color, more silverish than golden like the warm toned. Yay! We're done with the undertone test. Did you figure out if you're warm, cool or neutral? Not sure? Don't worry, I differ in between two. In summer when I got tan, I lean into warmer undertones. In winter when I got paler skin, I look better in cool colors. So don't worry if you're neutral. Or in between. Yet, once you learn about the seasons formula, you'll be understanding the difference better. I'll be explaining how we can find your color palette depending on the overtone and undertone, downsizing your huge color spectrum into your unique color palette. Ready? Let's roll! I assume you had figured out your undertone and overtone. For better comprehension, let's go over examples. For example, she has peachy undertones and her hair is auburn with caramel highlights. Her eyes are green with lipness and flex in it. And instead of white, beige would look greater on her. And the same applies to gold versus silver. Gold would look better on her. Therefore, it's safe to say that she's warm. So we found out about the undertone. Warm. Okay. Next, it's the contrast which is also called as value. Here we'll focus on the eye and hair. Skip the skin. The easiest way to decide whether she has deep contrast or light contrast is changing the picture to black and white. The contrast looks way more obvious that way. Look at her black and white photo. Her hair and eyes stand out as dark. She has not the darkest, but still a dark contrast. If you're wondering how light contrast looks, the example is coming up. So which season are you? Dividing the spectrums, unlimited color choices into four seasons. It is not enough, of course, but still definitive. We call them with season names. Winter, summer, spring and autumn. So what's the difference between the four of them? Like her, if you have warm undertone combined with deep contrast, then you are autumn. If you have cool undertone and deep contrast, then you are winter. If you have a warm undertone and light contrast, then you are spring. If you have a cool undertone and light contrast, then you are summer. Okay, let me rephrase it. Winter and summer, they are both cool. The difference between them is the level of contrast. Whereas spring and autumn, they are both warm undertones. The difference between them is again about the contrast. Autumn and winter has a common side. They are both deep contrast. The same applies to spring and summer. They have contrast in common, which is low contrast, but they differ from each other on undertones. All of this may sound overwhelming, but practice makes it perfect and we have more examples coming. Let's talk about her. I want you to take a moment and answer by yourself. What are the questions that are waiting to be answered? Okay, first, undertone. Does she have pink or peach undertone? Meaning, is she cool or warm? Is her hair color a solid single color or more on the brown and blonde side with a mix of highlights? Are her eyes have an ice solid color or a deep color with flex? Look at her black and white picture. Does she have a deep contrast? or light contrast. Did you think of the answers? Let's look at them together. Her hair is dark. Her eyes are cool. Her undertone is therefore cool. Her skin is fair and her contrast is high. And therefore her season is because she has cool undertone and deep contrast, it's winter. 
So according to Susan Winter, these are the best colors for her. See, the colors have high intensity like fuchsia, bright green, rich blue, dust pink, outstanding turquoise, solid colors like black, gray, and anthracite. Okay, these are the colors. Let's see how she can utilize these colors in outfits. For example, the skirt, the color of the dress, like the gray cardigan, beautiful blue knitwear, and this dust pink dress with plunging neckline. A brand new example, let's find out which colors suit her best. Okay, let's answer together. When you look at her skin, hair and eyes, do you think she is warm, neutral or cool? Take a look at her black and white photo. Does she have light or deep contrast? So, which season does she belong to? Let's look at together. Her hair color is light to medium with golden highlights. Her eyes are blue with starbursts. She has peach undertones, therefore we can say that she is warm undertoned. Her skin is light. Her contrast is medium. So with her warm undertone and medium contrast and with some intuition, I would call her spring because she has vibrancy in her features too. Due to that chroma, I would not call her muted autumn. So as a spring, which colors would look great on her? Aren't these colors sweet and soft? A baby blue, Nile green, peach, salmon, midnight blue. It feels really like a beautiful spring day and a splendid spring night. And let's see how she can use these colors in her outfits. Wouldn't they look great on her? Imagine her in this blue dress, for example, this dark forest green dress would flatter her too on a summer stroll. And next, do you think she has a light contrast or high contrast? Is she warm or cool? I think the answer is very obvious though. It got easier to answer by the way, yes? She has a very obvious cool undertone. When we check the black and white photo, we see that she has low contrast, cool undertone and light contrast. It makes her season summer. Summer has vibrant colors as herself. Summer is vibrant, so it matches. Marine navy, lilacs, pinks, powder blues, lavender. So cheerful as a summer day. She would look great in these outfits. Don't you agree? Look at this dress and sweatshirt. They have her combo colors. Bingo! Let's talk about her. Do you think she has a light contrast or high contrast? Is she warm? or cool. When you look at her features, does her eye, hair, face, lips have vibrancy and stand out or are they blended and tinted? Her hair is dark. Her eyes are blue with starbursts. She has peach undertones, therefore we can say that she is warm undertoned and therefore her season is autumn. Which colors would look great on her? And let's see how she can use these colors in her outfits. I hope these examples help you understand your undertone, overtone, your contrast and finally your season which defines your unique color palette. I have created a great resource for you. 15 pages color palette guide and a lookbook for each season. Autumn, Spring, Winter and Summer. It's a PDF file available for instant digital download. What's in these 15 pages? A color palette of 45 hues, plus a makeup color palette for eye makeup, foundation, blush and lipsticks. How to guides, how to use a color palette and how to choose patterns according to your season. Styling tips on how to create stylish looks and using colors to your advantage. Four head-to-toe looks that will inspire you on how to dress in your right colors. More than 70 items of apparel, shoes, bags, accessories, jewelry and makeup. All together in this lookbook, available to downloaders. Get it now and use your color palette and guide forever. Link is in the description box.